Okay, so uh, hello and welcome back guys to the channel and um, on today's video we are going to keep pushing forward with our topic of multi time frame analysis. So this will be the episode 2 of the brand new series of um, multi time frame analysis in which mostly in this video I'll be breaking down um, some of the trades that I myself have been taking throughout the week and how I've taken them um, based on based on multi time frame analysis now this is uh gu well it's one of my major pairs that i like to trade so this is like my watch list here i do have euro usd gbp usd uh, usd jpy and euro jpy i mean i mostly like usd pairs because they're the most volatile pairs right they're pairs that move and i myself um i'm a day trader and you know being a day trader uh it sucks trading uh trading pairs that you know have very little small movements per day so that's why I mainly target these USD pairs because of their volatility. Now, that with that being the case, so let's just go uh, straight into the video. And, you know, don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't to get further notification um, on uh, some more releases on the channel about the new episodes. Now, let's just get into it and see uh, what's uh, wh what's going on here. So, you know, it's multi time frame analysis, right? So we do start um from the from the higher time frames and this was like so this was like my daily outlook of gbp usd from the daily time frame that you know we have been bearish we're still bearish and we will st still continue to be bearish until we see some uh major changes that you know major shifts in the market that tell us okay so now price is no longer uh bearish and it's turning bullish but until that is done we are still bearish uh on this pair so so this is like um my break of structure okay so no templates in there so this is like my my break of structure right here and on this break of structure what do we have we do have a high and a low right so from this structural high here and this structural low here right so now we have our structural narrative it's bearish the next thing we're going to look for is what that um, supply and demand zone right so if it's a bearish market then we will be looking for potential supply zones that need mitigation for price to continue to its uh, trend with that being said i did have multiple uh, multiple areas including this one so you know basically these two and probably this one but i wasn't uh, looking at it very much because uh, i did say i mean th there's this reason that i've been talking about and i will still uh, continue to be talking about right because i did say that if price was pushing bearish and then makes that drop right and breaks uh, a structural low per se right if price uh, okay so let me redraw this right if price breaks a low boom like that the probability of price making just a slight pullback into some zone there or there and then continuing down is much higher than the probability of price uh, let's clear that is much higher than the probability of price making a deep pullback retracing into that original zone and then you know falling down aiming that as its next liquidity target right so you know pardon with my drones they're not that good but uh, the overall concept is pretty much shown so uh based on that fact that's exactly what happened right so now we have price uh, we have price going high and then breaking right so we have price breaking a low and from this low we now have price making that pullback into a potential supply zone in which we're going to see now that shifts of structure from bullish to bearish that retest which is our entry and then the continuation down targeting this low as its next liquidity run but that's not that's not yet happened so this is just an, an anticipation right yet again i might be um we might be absolutely wrong about this but being wrong doesn't mean that we're going to take a loss why because it's a multi time frame analysis and there's a part of confirmation within our strategy right so let's continue and see now what happens right so price doesn't reach this area but that doesn't mean that i'm a day trader right i can't just sit around and let price play from this low here to this supply zone here right so that's approximately what it's it's about from this low to this area here so that's about 300 pips right i can't wait around for price to to move 300 pips just for me waiting for entry no i'm a day trader so now what i do is start now moving down to the lower time frames looking for opportunities that i can place myself and be a part of those 300 pips right so 
now we're continuing uh, so let's clear this okay boom so now we're continuing so let's see what price does right so within this um this uh, particular time frame here right so it's a four meaning that it's a it's a, it's a substitute of of the daily right so from the daily being the high time frame this is the lower time frame now we do know that there is um, major structure and intermediary structure right so okay sorry for that guys i was in a call now as i was saying right so we do have the major structure and and the major structure now this um this whole this whole down move here is our major structure but within this major structure there's minor structure right so we do have price uh, playing around in some sort of bullish to bearish manner in here now what we're looking for is opportunities now to be a part of this so-called minor structure now so what is happening in here right is that we had price uh, creating a low a high a low a high right a low a high a low a high and then a low right so this was the overall bearish play now from this low here we then had price now breaking structure to the top side which means that this is a, is a what it's a it's a it's a shift of structure or change of, of structure right so that's what a uh, change of character people call it that so if the market is changing its character intermediary from bearish to bullish means what we can now anticipate that okay so price is gonna go bullish from here lo and behold you have that retest and then that continuation bullish now this continuation bullish means that okay we're targeting this um that that high there that uh, supply zone right so how can now how can we uh, position ourselves in here to be a part of this move lo and behold that's why the lower time frames are there that's uh that's when now your rules apply right what type of trader are you i'm a day trader it means that i can go down to like um the the um the the much lower time frames like the 15 minute or the five minute or even the one minute and search for entries to go bullish from there lo and behold uh so so uh let's let's roll down to that particular time frame there now what do we have from this break right so this was the the overall break right so we have price breaking here and from the uh from this from this scenario here of price breaking structure we now have a what the last down move before this up move started meaning that this uh this whole thing here is in its own a what a supply zone right so that means that if price is going to continue bullish then price is definitely going to make a pullback into that supply zone and then i mean demand zone and then continue now what we want to do is catch those buys from that demand right so excuse me let me reduce this being a little uh, dirty here so let's reduce this and probably uh, this one right here okay boom so now we have uh we back here this whole area here from the high to the low as its own demand now from this demand that doesn't mean that you have to use like the whole zone as a demand no you can refine this but i did say uh, i did talk about this in the supply and demand videos that if when you're refining make sure your level of refinement is not um is not very very intense why because over refinement may lead you to uh, to miss an entry and you know it is what it is it happens like a lot so uh it is what it is so price mix uh price makes that high there comes back down test that demand and then leaves lo and behold so this right here is your opportunity now to go bullish now if if you want to refine this that means that okay so you don't have to take uh, that if I, I mean me catching this entry here doesn't mean that i i just took the entry here and my stop loss here no i'm a day trader i go to the much lower time frames and then reconfirm this area through what 
white off, right? So I want to see price go down and then change this character. Entry one, break again, right? Entry two, and then price to now leave for higher prices. That's exactly what happened in here. And um, so let's look at this area through the um, the replay tool, okay? I'm trying to select the replay tool, it's not, okay, that's not complying. Boom, so it's there. Okay, so let's go from here. And then let's see now what happens. So now we have, uh, so this is like the 15 minutes and we have price tapping this area also, tapping what? This demand here, right? absolutely perfect demand zone for refinement right so now we go to the 30 seconds chart so that's in accordance to our rules which are only uh, for the premium but you know if you do want to join the premium uh, you could dm us on instagram as at official green pips effects and we'll be more than happy to receive you guys as the poster shows aside but you know without further ado the youtube is still uh, it's still free for you guys so you can just use the content here and take your trading to the next level now with that being said let's see what price did here and then uh, all right so let's so now we have we have a low a high a low a high and then a what a low so we want to see price do what break this high here Shit, sorry that line and straight but you know it is what it is price break there come back to retest and then continue where bullish right so this is our overall general anticipation now let's see what happens from there boom so lo and behold price now comes and breaks this and after this break we're now waiting for what for a retest so there you have it boom your retest is there um at this zone here or you could use this zone here too right so boom there you have your uh, beautiful demand in there that could see you now going long from here your stop loss is there or there for, just for safety and you're looking to target um the overall high right so boom and then um boom so this this high here that's your first target right so uh let's see how this would have played out so this like um, okay so the stop loss is there and then um, let's play this out and see what happens. Okay, so this is gonna move like very slow. So let's like go back to the 15 minutes. Uh, sorry guys, my internet is a little bit laggy today. That's why the delays are pursuing, but you know, ain't that bad. Uh, okay, boom, so there we are. And of course, we are um, looking to play this out. So, boom, there's your trade, and let's just play this out. Lo and behold, that's right there. So, this is like a 1 to 15 RR with a 5 pip, pip stop loss and like an 80 pip take profit target. There, a beautiful uh, 16, or oh, it's actually 1 to 16 RR, and that's secured for the day, right? So this is how everything is done, guys. So this is the beauty of my multi-time frame analysis. Now let's keep on playing this price. That I mean, and you know, for the, for just the basis of uh, for just the basis of uh, risk management, you could you know you, you don't have to close like everything here. You could like close um, eighty percent here and then leave twenty percent running for these uh, these extra prices that are being put into place. But you know that's completely optional and um you know it is what it is so from that trade uh let me just go quick about this and then you know we can finish this up don't want to make this um too too long right so boom so we did have uh this beautiful trade here and yet again let me talk about this trade here just before the uh the cpi news the uh usd news i think it was yesterday yep this was yesterday price action so let's go back um so like the early i think the early would be enough so this is like found just the okay so boom there so what price so this was like the news time and price was here just mitigating this 
demand this supply there now from this um you can see that uh, the the uh there was like almost no pressure in the market during this period here and then all of a sudden comes this liquidation moves that liquidate this high here and mitigate this uh this supply here and you know from that the news uh made usd to be strong so you know it is it is right so there was like a very good sell there which you know we were able to catch it only through um only through only through technical analysis without any fundamental analysis because i'm not into fundamentals guys i'm a pure believer in um in technical analysis you know it's it's really fun it, it is what it is so let's um let's clear this and you know make a brand new play out on this area as to how would it catch this trade so this was me sitting around the chart so this this was like um 15 hours is like 3 3 p.m uh almost new york open in my time and this was a uh, this was how price was running so price was running uh bullish and then we had that first break here which is this one here right so price was running bullish breaking highs uh breaking highs coming down from the low breaking highs again and then this low was broken right here so from this break we know that okay so this is a change of character what i was anticipating is um, a retest at this supply right so that price would come at the supply mitigate and then drop down break this again and once this low was broken that would that would be my overall confirmation that the market was ready to go bearish and then just wait for that uh, extra retest which would be if i didn't take an entry here yeah so this would have been my entry too if i didn't take the first entry here which i normally do not take based on the rules that um you know the double bos which is pre uh you know exclusive for the premium but you know it is it is so this would have been my second entry here and looking to target price lower to that um that uh, major liquidity low you know as you know based on the higher time frame so with that being said uh so let's look at what happened to price okay so um let's delete these let's make it a little bit cleaner Okay, so let me just select you if you don't mind. Boom and boom. So let's now see what happened. So we didn't have um, the first break here. So from that break, uh, let's see now what happened. Okay, boom. So we, we've got price coming back up, mitigating this and absorbing, as you can see this week, right? Absorbing this high. If you don't know what absor absorbing is, it's the concept of absorption which is available in the video of absorption and this displacement so from the absorption we now have what okay my bad okay my internet is a little bit shaky but um, okay so let's cut it from from here okay boom so from this break here that retest so price now comes and makes the second break now from the second break we now know that okay so this market is absolutely ready to go bearish and from that um okay okay so we're back now we had the second break and from that second break we now knew that okay the market is now ready to go bearish lo and behold i did have that uh, very beautiful supplies on there that i was looking for uh, it's mitigation, it's mitigation, and then for price to go now, uh, to go down, you know, for the final time. Now, let's see what happened. So this was like uh, my short position here. Uh, just per se, my short position there. Just put it there, okay. So the stop loss above uh, the zone or above the high, as you prefer it, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, the actual overall take profit target so boom so let's see what happens uh, price plays around lo and behold uh, you do have your entry there being tapped and then price decides to now go for the final time with the news right so boom so let's go back now to the early and see how the time frame played out so this was like the entry in there uh, okay so this is the entry uh this is the entry 
there I was looking to target this um, this imbalance in here this imbalance in here because price left this gap and didn't finish to mitigate it and then it went up so I knew that at some point it would come back down to mitigate this imbalance and that's precisely what price did so you know you could use this as your first take profit target second take profit target and then this final uh, low here as your third take profit target or even these lows here which is uh, completely optional so that that's uh, that's what happened from that trade there we had price running uh, up to this moment as you can see we are now back to uh, live price action and you know it is what it is but it was a really fantastic trade as you can see it's 1 to 54 uh, risk to reward ratio only 2.5 pip stop loss and that 135 pip take profit target so with that being said that i hope this video uh, made a whole brand new sense to you to your minds guys um, i hope it did have uh, an impact in 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 your level of trading in your mindset and etc so with that being said make sure uh you subscribe to the channel turn that bell button on for future notifications Hit that thumbs up button if you did like the video and until the next time guys stay safe and peace out